Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. We're going to get right into this epistle, brothers and sisters. It's uh, simply entitled, uh, Sakari, a rebellious son. Okay? Got a little clip here. Uh, it was uh, posted, you know, uh, October 4th, it says, 2019. I believe it's a little older. I'm not sure, you know, exactly. Uh, that could be right. I know I've, I've, I've put this up before, man. I made a little short epistle about this before. And it's just, uh, it says, Sakari meets the elders of GMS right and it's got 18,000 views okay um, so so you know uh, we're gonna get right into the epistle uh, we're gonna maybe maybe play a little little bit of this because uh, at the beginning you're gonna see them walking up the steps you know uh, wearing their fringes um, out all out in public and everything of course you know that's the, that's what they do because right now um, there's a lot of a lot of brothers man the spirit is out heavy um, promoting faith in Yahweh Bashem Ashai and all praises to Yahweh Bashem Ashai because of this incident you know there's a cause and effect because of this incident is what Sakari is pushing right now which is once again going into the title Sakari a rebellious son pushing uh, to be saved by keeping of the law you know but of course we understand you're saved by grace you know it's the will of Yahweh Bashem Ashai bro it's uh, predestinated. The 144 hopefully elect and one third of Israel. You know, and we're putting on as the elect. We're coming back, you know, in these last days. And Lord willing, this epistle will bring it out. Coming back in these last days, repenting, you know, sorrowful, understanding, you know, where, where we've fallen from, understanding who we are, the Lord's chosen people, you know, who the Lord is, and that, you know, every, you know the Lord has made it known to us, bro. So, and in turn, he told us to go out here and warn the children of Israel and condemn this wicked ass world. Period. Point blank. Right? Wait unto him. Wait, wait until he come back. You know, but we got these. I'll see, I'll see. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, bro. I don't want to talk too much now, but Yahweh about Shemashah say, hey, uh, if, if that prophet be deceived, you know, he yeah, he's deceived by Yahweh about Shemashah, right? The Lord said the deceived and the deceiver are his. But who considers these things except for the ones that believe in this 100% truth? Right? Believe in this word. Because what? The Yahweh Shema Shah say, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, right? Yay, man. You say, I've, I've, I've given you, I'm going to send you the confidence. It's going to teach you all things. So you have to, the whole thing, you got to understand the whole thing, bro. So when you have Shema Shah say, and there are going to be false prophets among you, you, hey, where are they then? You know, where are they, bro? And here they are right here. Okay, here's some of them right here, as well as these other camps. If you have not come under the, under the banner of, of the other uh, apostles' doctrines, starting with the elders' apostles, great millstone with the 100% truth, and all the other brothers all down there, umbrella sent by Yahweh by Shemasha, given that Holy Spirit, you know, just as us to understand and believe these words, you're going off, you know. And Lord willing, this epistle will bring it out. So, um, so before we go, for, for before I play this video, man, I want to show uh, also this. So look, they're wearing fringes on their on their on their shirts, right? Uh, and right now they're saying, you know, if you're not wearing your friends, you're going off. But we understand that you got to be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, right here in uh, Babylon the Great, Esau's kingdom. This is Esau's kingdom. You know, you how about Shema Shah say, you know, the prince of this world coming that he has nothing in me. We understand that we're yet this day in our captive. We just woke up, bro, to the truth. We're waiting on you, how about Shema Shah to come and redeem us. So what? We can serve. We can serve you, how about Shema Shah, without fear. Okay. Look, uh, I want I wanted to bring this up. So they're talking about you gotta wear, you know, fringes on your clothes. But they even they in even in that they going off, bro. Because look, if you're gonna wear fr fringes, wear your wear the whole garment. Do you see the Muslims walk around? You know the ones that say they're you know really into their in their in their religion. Do they motherfucking half-ass it? See, because y'all be y'all be bullshitting around because all these all these other false gods did nothing but idols. So people. See, when we come back to the truth, we are Israelites inwardly. Man, we, 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 it's, we're right here, man. We're with Yahweh Shem right here in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. I feel like I'm talking too much, bro. I feel like I'm talking too much, man. But anyway, I just wanted to show some of these garments. These are the traditional garments. Look, 
They, these brothers are fully clothed with garments down to the foot, just like Yahweh Shai. Garments down to the foot. If you're gonna if you're gonna proclaim that you you know you should be wearing fringes on your clothes, you and you're an Israelite, you're keeping the, all the laws and everything, man. You know, do it all the way. Don't be half-assing it, man. Don't be lukewarm around here. Go all the way then. Wear your wear your full garments and stuff. You know, just like the days of old. If you want if you want to say you're gonna go on going off that way, cause y'all be going off, man. It's just it don't make no damn sense. But understanding once again, you know. This is the condition of the battle. Um, Yahweh Bashim Ashai said his words does not go out void. Okay? The Lord's words does not go out void. So everything that's written in the scriptures are coming to pass. We got the false prophets out here. The deceiver and the deceiver are his. And all praises to Yahweh Bashim Ashai for this wonderful story and giving us the understanding to see these things. Believe them, man. Have hope. Okay? All these things should boost up our faith. Now let's let's go back to the video real quick. Where's that? Just let's just play a little bit of this video. there and that's and thus the title Elder Pasa Tahar, Elder Pasa Gabar you know hey he's a rebellious son he's a rebellious son he walk up there all proud and everything off the subway you know this motherfucker right here I seen him preaching nine years ago blah 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 you know and thus we're gonna go get into the epistle now all praises to you how about Shemasha let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 20 wait wait hold on let's let's go back Salaki Deuteronomy chapter 21 hold on verse 18 if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son okay which would not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother and that when they have chastised him will not Hearken unto them, right? As uh, as the should proclaim, uh, he that is often reproved hardens neck. You know, uh, says so suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy, right? Now the rebukes have been going out. The re rebukes have been going out, right? Uh, heard that he re uh, re repented about the uh, the Passover, but hey, what about everything else? Because what? There's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's one doctrine, but no, you're still going off on on different things, bro. Just like all these other camps, because y'all ain't come back. To the hundred percent truth of the scriptures, man. To the hundred percent truth of the scriptures, and as the big brother elder brought out yesterday, uh, you know, if you don't have a hundred percent truth, is it still called? Is it truth? No, because we understand that there's no truth in the lie. You know, that's the lucky. There's no lie in the truth, bro. So if you got look, ninety-nine percent, is it still truth? No, it's not truth. Okay. And this is the simplicity of Yahweh Bashim Asha, bro. So, once again, giving all honors and praises to Yahweh Bashim Asha. Uh, amen, amen. This, this epistle right here, 
It's something. It's something else, bro, bro. It's something else, my man. Because uh, you, you'll see, bro. You'll see. You'll see, man. When I when I was putting it together, I was like, OMG. So let's get into it, okay? If a man had have a rebellious, a stubborn and rebellious son, which would not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they had chastised him, would not hearken unto them. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of this city and into the gates of this place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the, all the men of the city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shall thou put evil away from among you and all Israel shall hear and fear. Okay? You already got rid of... Uh, Already got rid of them uh, wrap the news, right? Already already got rid of comfy, okay? You know? Come on, y'all. Let's get into the epistle now. So we just heard this, this dude proclaim out of his mouth that he saw Elder Apostle Tahar them preaching on the road like nine years before. So we're going to go straight to the book of uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4. Verse 13, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine, to doctrine, to doctrine, okay? Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on the hands of the Presbytery. We're going to get into this prophecy a little bit later, of how the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, have awoken to the fact that we are the lost 12 child of Israel, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem prophecy being fulfilled, that we're the Lord's chosen people. We've been lied to up in these churches, had us worship a false god and a false idol, so-called named JC, or either Buddha or Allah, anything and everything except for the, doing the will of Yahweh Shem telling us the law, such commandments are done away with, you know. So how can we repent if we were uh, worshiping a false god and a false idol, right? But no, prophecy, the words of Yahweh Shem does not go out void, you know. His counsel shall stand, he's going to do all his pleasure, bro. Okay, it's what the Lord has, he's the one that's in full control of this place, bro. Okay? Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which is given thee by prophecy with the land on the hands of the Presbytery. Meditate, meditate, meditate upon these things. Give thyself holy to them, that thy prophet may appear to, appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and into the doctrine. Continue in them, for, all, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. That's a very important point, bro. Because what? Yahweh Shemashah has raised up these men, starting with the elders apostle Great Millstone, to declare these words to the children of Israel. This 100% truth of the doctrine. 100% truth of the doctrine, bro. And through the Spirit, we understand and believe this to be true. Okay? One Lord, one faith, one baptism. What else can... There's no... You know... And that's why the scriptures proclaims uh, the hour coming now is when the true worshippers shall worship Yahweh by Shemashah in spirit and in truth. Right? Because the Lord, the Father, seeketh such to worship Him, bro. So take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Right. Hold on, bro. I gotta... Hold on. Let me send this quick uh, message right, real quick. Just one second. It's lucky. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Because you're going to both say what? Yourself and them that hear thee, bro. That's, that's amen. Because what? We're all looking for salvation. And that, hey, that goes back to the, to the, um, to Romans. That goes back to Romans chapter 11, verse 7. Because we're looking for salvation, right? Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Bam! Right there, okay? Um, Ecclesiasticus Chapter 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of Yahweh Shemashah and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice. God damn fucking devils, bro. So lucky about that, man. 
Ecclesiastics in the Bible, chapter 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of Yahweh Shemashah, and be more ready to hear than to give a sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil, my man. Okay? And you know, hey man, because what? Um, if if it's not the word of Yahweh Shemashah, you're going off. You know, if the, if, you know uh, as the shrimp proclaims, uh, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, but with all thy getting, get understanding, my man. You know? But see, that's that's the thing about it, being um, looking for that salvation, that hope of salvation. When you hear these words, when you hear that Yahweh Shema is about to come and destroy this place, Babylon the Great, and he's going to save the elect out of it, do you believe that? Or you still want to try to wake up all Israel? Or you still want to try to get some filthy lucre? Or you still want to have a part in this wicked-ass world? See, that's, that, that's the thing about it, man. We, we, we are... We're over here looking for salvation, okay? Let me turn this ringer off, bro, for a second, man. We're over here seeking salvation. We're over here uh, hoping that the Lord's going to, uh, you know, justify us and, and redeem us out of, this, out of the hands of our enemies, you know, and, and avoid that second death, bro, okay? Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 30. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 30. He that is not with me is against me. Do you understand the gravity of that? Huh? Do you? What? He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Right. Because what the scriptures say? They are gathered by the word. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather, gather together, O nation I desire. Before the decree brings forth. You know? Um, gather yourselves together. Come together on one accord and having one mind. You know, so that what? But but you're either inside the temple or you're outside the temple. You're in the sanctuary of Yahweh Shemashah or you're not in the sanctuary of Yahweh Shemashah. You believe this word or you don't believe this word. You're doers of the word or you're not doers of the word. You know, it's just like that. There's no in between. Yahweh Shemashah said, if, because you're lukewarm, I'm going to sprue you out of my mouth. He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattered abroad, bro. Serious business over here, man. Serious business over here. Let's go to the book of Acts. Chapter 5, verse 31. I'm going to get right back into what he's talking about with this nonsense. This book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom you slew and hang on a tree. Him you have Yahweh Shai, exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins okay and forgiveness of sins but these guys over here talking about no um, keeping the law that's how you're gonna make it bro so they clearly are not speaking as the oracles of Yahweh Shemashah him have Yahweh Shemashah exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior to for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins right man so um you know, uh, it's, uh, it's about following the strip. What's, what's written down? You know, we come to understand that this is like a, a, a movie strip um, or a theater production where, you know, it, it, the words are already declared from the end, from the beginning. Right? These, written, these words were written a four times, written for our learning. Right? Come on, man. Shoot, bro. But see, blessed are your eyes to see and hear. So, you know, hopefully, you know... Um, that we're part of this elect number because we believe was with the written word. We believe in Yahweh Shai. When he said, you know, he's gonna deliver his elect. He's not talking about all Israel. He said two thirds of the children of Israel will be cut off and die. There's a lot of Israelites that don't believe this. That's why they're all on, on different platforms listening to all these other wayward doctrines. But hey, everyone, once again, this is a small sanctuary. Yahweh Shai said only a remnant shall return. That's why these epistles going out uh, proclaiming these words to the 144 hopefully elect and one third of Israel you know if you can if you can understand it if you can receive it you're gonna you're gonna start you're gonna gather be gathered by the word you're gonna start uh, uh, um, subscribing to the elders apostle great millstone and all the other brothers on that umbrella only bro and leave them other leave what the scripture say leave them alone they be blind leaders of the blind bro you know of course we bring out these epistles to rebuke them to uh, once again Proclaim these words to the children of Israel, the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel, and condemn the rest, bro. 
and the, with the rest of the damn world. This is a book of uh, Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Let's start at 18. But those things which Yahweh Shemashah before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Yahweh should suffer and he has so fulfilled. Okay? He came to fulfill. Right? Repent ye therefore. Right? As he, as he proclaimed. You know, go, as, as you go preaching tell them to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Not uh. You know, and, and hey amen, it's, it's, it's so obvious, man. When you look at IUIC, when you look at all these other camps, uh, are they preaching repentance? Are they preaching uh, getting married and, and, uh, and, and building up in this society? You know, they have 501c3s. They're they doing everything that's contrary to the word of Yahweh Shemashah because they are of their father, the devil, bro. The Lord said, do it this way. They're going to do it this way. You know, do they, they don't believe in this word of truth, bro. Okay? Shit, man. All praise to you, how about Shema Verse, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, okay? Be converted by the renewing of your mind, bro. You're not, you're not going to be the same person no more, man. You're not going to be doing the same things or believing in all this other stupidness. You're going to see things, you know, clearly, bro. You're going to understand what that, what, cost what? Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Your what? Your sins may be blotted out. Okay? You know, of course, we come back, we understand, hey, we're we doing the law because we love you. How about Shemashah? To the best of our abilities. Because of what the scriptures say, if you love me, keep my commandments. And, we, and when we, we come back to the understanding that we're talking about the, the volume of the book, all things, cover to cover, bro. You're not, we're not leaving something out, but we, oh, I don't know about that. I don't agree with that. No, we, we love you. How about Shemashah? So we do agree with that. You see what I'm saying? You see that, bro? Ye there. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahweh Shemashah. Right, we're looking for our sins to be blotted out. Because if any man uh, is a judge by, by the deeds of the law, your ass is fucking grass, bro. As the brother's been bringing out all week long, you know, about the mixed fabrics, that's a sin. About being in the same house with your, with your woman when she's on a menstrual cycle, that's a sin. You know what I'm talking about? Working on the Sabbath day, that's a sin. Are you celebrating? Are you are you uh, even uh, celebrating the correct Sabbath day? There's still Israelites out here that's doing the Sabbath day on Friday the sundown, Saturday sundown. You know? They're going off. Have not even, have not even come back. They have not been reborn, bro, to this 100% truth. Like, they don't believe in the word, my man. This is a straight gate right here, bro. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 4. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 4. Ah, sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin. Why? Because you have not repented to the one true living God, not with your whole heart, bro. You know? See, because we're, we're looking to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. You see, now you see it now. Covered by the blood of the Lamb. Because if you're not, you, you fucking just gone, man. Okay? Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have not, for they have they have forsaken the Lord Yahweh Shemashah. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away backwards. Right. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more, as you can see. You will revolt more and more. This last week it was it was something else. This week now it's this. That week now it's that. You know what I'm talking about? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. The whole heart faint, bro. You know? They've forsaken you. How about you, shy? They've gone away backwards. That's what I'm talking about. They've gone away backwards. This man come up. Yeah, I remember. I, that's why we, we That's why we opened it up with 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16. You know? Continue in them. Continue in the things that you've learned. Continue in the doctrine that was set forth by the elders, apostles, great millstone through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashah. The true words, the 100% truth of the scriptures. You know, in doing this, you should both save yourself and them that hear thee. Right? Come on, y'all. Let's go get. Let's go get a little bit more understanding on this thing right here that we're talking about. Let me reset this. Okay. Um, just going to the book of Joshua real quick, chapter six, verse one. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. Okay? 
And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given unto thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go around about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days. Right, now look. Things are written, written for, things are four times written for our learning, written for our learning, right? Uh, so listen to this. This commandment that the Lord told, told Joshua. And ye shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go around, around about the city once. Thus shall thou do six days. Now, I don't want to say, I don't really want to say what if, but let's just say this. Was any women there? Compass in the city with them. Now, all ye men of war, okay? Did any of these men go the opposite way that everybody else was walking? Huh? Did they do it? And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go around about the city once. Thus shalt thy, thou do six days. Did any of the men just do it three days, and then the rest of the days they didn't do it? Huh? You see? You see what we you see where we're going with this? And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horn. And the seven days ye shall come past the city seven times. And the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass. Okay, the Lord saying if you do these things, this is going to happen. And it shall come to pass that when thou make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great voice. With the, shall shout with a great shout. How many people? Some of them? A few of them. No, all the people. Okay? Only a, see, only a remnant shall return, bro. And be walking on that straight gate to the best of their ability with the spirit that Yahweh Hashem Hashem has given them. Okay? And when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great noise, with a great shout, Salaki, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat. And the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Okay? That's what's that A. Hey. And did it did that happen? Okay then. Were they obedient to what the, what the Lord had told them to do? Yes. Everything was written and written four times for our learning, bro. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, came upon me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Okay? And say unto it, Thus said Yahweh Shemashah, Lord God. Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Okay, so we prophesied against Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Esau, Eden, the Caucasian race, letting them know that your kingdom is at an end. Yahweh Shemashah is not with y'all asses. Okay? I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Shemashah. Right, because what? Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The kingdom of heaven is about to be established. Simple as that. Verse 35. So uh, Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and in the time their iniquity had an end. Okay. Yeah. Yahweh Shemashah has given us into your hands but not for our destruction but y'all motherfuckers you the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay. Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh Shemashah, Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sit thou, since thou have not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut it off, cut off from it him that passes out, and him that returneth. Okay? Ooh. That, yeah, because we understand that, you know, after that thousand year of hard bondage in the kingdom of heaven, yeah, by Shema Shai is gonna, you're gonna be, you're never gonna see Esau eat him again after that, bro. And I will fill his mountains with slain, his slain men, and in his, and in thy hills, and in thy valleys, and on all the rivers, they shall fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh by Shema Shai, bro. Because thou hast said, these two nations, the children of Israel, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and I will possess it, whereas the Lord, whereas the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, was there. Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh Shemashah, Lord God, I will even 
do according to thine anger and according to thine envy which thou hast used out of thine hatred against them and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee right as the strip proclaims let them know you like we have known them yeah like we have known you Yahweh by Shemashah because we we don't went to through the transatlantic slave trade we don't we 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 we've been afflicted we we we've known Yahweh by Shemashah through his righteous judgments bro thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me I have heard them thus say Yahweh by Shemashah the Lord God when the whole earth rejoiced I will make thee desolate and as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate so will I do unto thee thou shalt be desolate O Mount Seir right Esau even the Caucasian race and all Idumia even all the all of it and they shall know that I am Yahweh Shemashah bro you know what I'm saying and that's you know, that's one of the commandments that Yahweh Shemashah has given us in these last days when we wake up to this truth to prophesy against Mount Seir. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's what we're doing. On, out there in the highways and hedges, proclaiming this word of truth to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, letting you know that you're the Lord's, cho you're the Lord's chosen people. Okay? And right now is the time, this is the time the gates of mercy are open. Time to repent. Time to uh, come back, repent with your whole heart. Learn the names of Yahweh by Shemashah, the names of the one true living God. You know, turn away from this wicked world right here in your mind, man. Get yourself prepared for the return of Yahweh by Shemashah. Cl clean up your ways, man. Be washed with the word of truth, bro. Be get baptized, man. Start watching videos of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the other brothers all down that umbrella, bro. Not these, these damn jokers over here, man, going off with these false doctrines and shit, you know? Are watching all the camps no man so look we're warning the children of Israel even even this dude you know Sakari and everyone that, that follow his ass this rebellious son warning them tell them to repent bro son of man I have made thee a watchman Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me when I say unto the wicked thou shalt surely die and thou giving him not warning, nor speaking to warn the wicked from his wicked way, because it is wickedness. You're going against against Yahweh Hashem Hashai. As we read before, you know, he that is not with me is against me. Okay? And when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou giving him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquities, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul, bro. And that's what we, you know, hoping and praying to, to be servants of Yahweh Shem Hashem. This is our reasonable service. It's our unprofitable service, bro. You know, we're just doing the will of Yahweh Shem Hashem to the best of our abilities with the spirit that the Lord has given us in these last days, wholeheartedly believing in this truth, bro. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of Yahweh, our Lord Yahweh Shemashah, that you all speak the same thing. Just like Joshua in the wall of Jericho, bro. They all did the same thing. You know, right now we're all prophets that should be prophesying against Mount Seir and bringing out this 100% truth, this word of truth, being the oracles of Yahweh Shemashah, bro. Now I beseech you, therefore, be beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shemashah, that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you okay and that's, that's talking about the 144 elect and one-third of Israel talking about uh, Revelation chapter 14 verse 3 and they all sang as it were a new song and no man could learn that song but the 144 hopefully elect of Israel everybody else they're gonna try to sing the song they're gonna try to be okay but they're gonna be all off key bro they're gonna be all, all, all fucking around with a, with a different strange woman we gotta, we gotta go read that, that Revelation chapter 14, verse 3 real quick, okay? Huh? But that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That's right, man. He that is spiritual judges all things, but is judged by no man. Because we see that y'all be going the fuck off, bro. Shit, and we out here just, just saying, hey, man, you, you're going off. You know, you, you're singing out of tune. 
This is the book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and, and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth, bro. These are they which are not defiled with women. That's right. You ain't got no different philosophies or trying to mix it with this doctrine with that doctrine. Or trying to be, uh, what do they call it, politically correct Israelite. Or trying to be, uh, 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 hey, uh, you know, as the stripper proclaims, uh, woe to them that, that keep it their sword from blood. You know, oh, you know, let's all try to just get along and be peaceable among all these. No, the Lord said this word is for correction, for rebuke. You know, for for uh, for righteousness, bro. To keep you on that path, man. The, on the, you know, that path, that straight gate. These are they which would not defile with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whatsoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits until Yahweh Shemashah and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh Shemashah. And that's what we're hoping to be, bro. Hoping to be a part of that 144 that's found without any guile in our mouth. You know, just doing to the best of our abilities. Being that servant of Yahweh Shemashah with the spirit that the Lord has given us. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels that have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Bang, bang, bang. All out of fucking tune somewhere, bro. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Right, man, if you're leading your brother astray, your ass going off. If you're not telling them correct doctrine, the correct thing, you're going off. Okay? And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Right. You know, um, like if you got the 99 sheep and you see one going off, you got, yay, yeah, you got to go get that sheep. Okay? Though doth not, okay, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not, charity vultures not itself. It's not puffed up, okay? Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own, not her own, right? You're not doing your own will. You're doing the will of Yahweh Shemashah. You're not leaning on your own understanding. You know, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. It's not easily provoked. Think if not, no evil. Right, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on thy own understanding. You're just simply being a vessel of Yahweh Shemashah, bringing out this, the truth that Yahweh Shemashah has given us through this 100% doctrine, bro. You know, proclaiming this word of truth, being the servant of Yahweh Shemashah, man. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, Does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, think of no evil, okay? Rejoice is not in iniquity, but rather in truth, in truth, bro, in truth, in truth, in truth, in truth, in truth. Bearing all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is part in part shall be done away. When I was a child, okay? I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Yahweh Shema Shah said, gird up thy loins like a man, bro. We in, it, we in this thing to win it. We, we, we're hoping for those crowns, my man. We're rejoicing and seeing the downfall of our enemies, bro. We're watching these prophecies kick off. We believe the end. You know, this is the year of turn up, bro. Last year was the year of hastening is coming. One accord, one mind, one body. You understand, bro? What y'all doing over here? Motherfuckers, motherfuckers. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now, we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am known. And now abideth faith, okay, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity, bro. You know, brother, that's not the way. Brother, look, the Lord said he's going to come back. Just wait. Brother, don't go out there in the world. Brother, make no covenant with the heathen. Brother, don't do that. 
you know, the battery setting is low. We're going to see how far we can go, bro. Let's go to the book of Revelations, chapter 5, verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. Right, now look. Elder Apostle Gabar brought this out a while back, man. And I was like, wow, bro. You know, it took me back. I, um... Uh, it just, it took me back, my man. Because I remember being out there in the world, you know, when we were children in this fucking Baptist church and shit, being, being deceived. And I um, always heard about the books being sealed, the, you know, or somehow I remember, I just remember running across under, the understanding that the books were sealed. The books were sealed. I'm like, what the, the book was sealed. The book was sealed. So when the elder brought this out, man, it was something that it was something else and see now this is the the, the the you know that that hope of salvation bro this is that being so thankful to you have for calling us out of darkness into this marvelous light but that goes right back to having faith in this word man do you really believe this word that we were woken up in these last days and we're here now proclaiming this word of truth in the face of such that have afflicted us bro and made no account to our, eight, our, our labors, bro. Do you believe this word, bro? You think, or you think there's some kind of fucking, uh, fucking club or some shit going on around this motherfucker? You damn niggas. No, man. Fuck that shit, man. But hey, let's 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 pull, let's pull it back. Cause it, it, once again, you how about shit? declared the end from the beginning. You know, and all these things are, you know. Hey, this is life. We're alive now. We, we have feelings. Okay? Why do you think the Yabba Shema Shah talking about he's so angry? He's so upset. You know? He wrote the story out, but this shit goes and picks pick him off with long, his long suffering. Here they come with all that bullshit, bro. Come on, y'all. And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon, bro. See, you see that, man. You see how dire the situation is. I want to jump over here real quick. Um, to the book of Daniel. Daniel. Chapter 12, verse 9. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Okay? The words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end, bro. All praises to you. How about Shema Shai? Right. Let's, let's, let's read some more. Many, verse 10, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. Okay. None of the wicked shall understand. They're going to be doing their own thing. Okay. But the wise, many shall be purified and made white. They're going to be white. So lucky about that. The, uh, the battery, like we were saying, the battery had died and, uh, Anyway, the uh, it was time to reset the camera. Anyway, so it was, it was you know everything. Lord willing, you know you got to have faith that uh, the the information is going to be saved onto the damn thing, you know. So, but anyway, yeah, we were just we were just finishing up that Daniel chapter twelve, <clears throat> verse ten. But many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. Right, the wise is going to understand their hate. The wicked. Will do wickedly, right? The wise gotta understand because Yahweh Hashem Hashem has given us the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, right, bro? The spirit of understanding, bro, to believe these words, the gift of faith, bro. You know. So once again, man, this is just a just being so thankful for this word of truth. Uh, 
because it makes me think about uh, Psalm 73, you know. My foot almost slipped. You know, you, 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 you come out of the transatlantic slave trade, you see all the prosperity of, the, of the, these damn, damn devils and shit, how they put it up in your face like the brothers always bring out, you know. Every year they uh, declare, uh, what, what, what's, that, what's that damn fucking ass holiday they got? Well, today's MLK Day. Even even that. Y'all remember what we done did to you. Remember how you had to beg for this and beg for that, and yet still, <laughs> you still got to beg for voting rights and shit. No, these motherfuckers, you know, but how about Shemasha has allowed us to understand these things, that he's going to redeem us out of the hands of our enemies. Why are we even here, bro? And that's what we're getting into right now. The seals have been opened, my man. So, and that's why you have to, you got to just calm down. Don't let all this, these uh, false prophets, you know, get you all riled up in the spirit and stuff. You got, just got to be just like, you know what? Yahweh I spoke of these things. Just like right now. With the medicine, with the M-A-R-K, and all these things are happening right now. World War Three, all these things are happening. The beginning of sorrow is happening. All these things, you got to be re just in the spirit. Be like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. See, that's why, you know, just say, take, take a step back, get right back in the spirit. Okay, but shh, calm fuck down. Niggas, you know, you, you, you all in your lot over there. Lord willing, uh, we're part of the 144 elect number of Israel. Bam! Right there, you know, that's destined for salvation, bro. And cleave on to that, my man. Have faith in that, okay? Come on, y'all. And I saw, what, um, back in Revelation chapter 5, verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him... That sat on the throne, a book written within, and on the backside sealed with the seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, bro. Because no man was found worthy to open and read the book, neither to, to look thereon, right? And what one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the, the, the lion of the tribe of Judah and the root of David had prepared to open the book, had prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which were the seven spirits of Yahweh Shemashah sent forth into all the earth. And he came and he took the book out of, out of the right hand of him and sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four twenty and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden veils full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. And to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and hast redeemed us to Yahweh, to Yahweh by, by that blood out of every kindred and every tongue and people and nation. You know, the twelve tribes of Israel that scattered among all these nations, bro. And has made us unto our God, Yahweh, kings and priests. And we shall reign on earth. And I beheld and heard the voice of many angels around about the throne, and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them were ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. And every creature which is in the heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and such as are in the sea and all that are in them, hear, heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that lived forever and ever, bro. You know? And that's why we got to be thankful for this 100% truth, my man. Let's go to the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into this marvelous light, my man. You know? And being thankful for this, being, you know, that part of that hopeful elect, bro, because we see we see the we see the children of Israel going off, man. 
But you see that they don't, they don't believe this word of truth. They don't understand, man. They haven't fully been converted. This is the book of John chapter 17, verse 17. Let's start at 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. That's why it's very important that uh, you children of Israel don't be watching these other wayward camps, man, with these false philo false doctrines and strange philosophies, because that's not the word of truth, bro. How are you going to be clean if you're washing in dirty water, bro? If you're washing your mind with, with things that are not true, right? Or mixing them around with the flat earth doctrine or some other doctrine over here, or talking about being uh, saved by keeping the law, you know, not really believing in, in Yahweh Shema and begging Him for mercy, you know, repenting for your sins, asking Him to be asking to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. That's the story. The runaway is going off. And once again, you know, I want to make it make that point, bro. You know, because even when we was in the world, again, in these damn churches, we knew that it was because of the because of the the blood of the Lamb. You know what I'm talking about? That you would be covered with your sins. Even though they've been pushing us a false god and a false idol, so-called name JC, J C, the story was still true. Shit, bro. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Okay? Neither I pray for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Neither I pray for them alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Right. When you come out here telling you, hey man, the Lord said this, the Lord said that. These are the words of Yahweh Shema Shabra. Not our words, but the Lord's words. Let's go to the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 5. Once again, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Okay. Let's start at verse 4. There, there is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. How are you going to be baptized? By the word of truth. Okay? Where's the word of truth coming from? From the eldest apostle, Great Millstone, and all the other brothers on down our umbrella. Okay? There's a scripture speaks about false prophets being out here. Where are the false prophets? Anyone that's not bringing out this 100% truth. Okay? Do you see that? Just, hey, what? what? What is that not to understand? Do you believe this word? Do you believe the words that's written down in the scriptures? When the Lord said there's going to be false prophets? When the Lord said there's one, one, one Lord, one faith, one baptism? There's no other way. He said he's the door, bro. Shh. Let's go to the book of 1 John. We're about to wrap it up, bro. 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have, have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know it is the last time. They went out from us. Once again, at the, at the intro, you know. Yeah, I, I heard Elder Apostle right now, nine years ago, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to put this in the description box if y'all want to go look at it. You know. they went So they went out from us. Everybody got that one. Everybody heard about the One West Doctrine. We all woke up to the fact many shall be called, but few are chosen. We woke up to the fact that we're the Israelites. You know, so I called on the names of Yahweh Shema Shah. Saw all the multitude of the camps coming out, but there's still one Lord, one faith, one baptism. You're all supposed to be speaking the same thing, having one mind. Gather yourselves together, O nation not desired. You know, but no. Many shall be purified and made white. You know, and try. You know, the wicked shall do wickedly, and, and none of the wicked shall understand. They're all gonna, okay, we, we, we got it now. Oh, we got it now. We got it. We know, we, hey. But there's order in the thing. Going back to Joshua and Jericho. You do this, do it like this, and do it like that, and this is gonna be the result. Nope. We're gonna, we're gonna switch this around a little bit over here. Yeah, of your father, the devil. Just like him. He's got the book. What the Lord said. You got the book, but you, 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 you don't do it, man. You cast the words behind you, bro. Get out of here, man. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, 
they would no doubt have continued with us. Going back to uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10. Continue in them, for in doing the, though, but for in doing this, you should both save yourself and them that hear thee. Okay? They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they, were, they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us, bro. Matthew chapter 12 verse 37 Matthew chapter 12 verse 37 For by their, wor by their words shall thou be justified and by their words thou shalt be condemned Let's jump up to 36 But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Right? That's why, man, hey, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not on thy own understanding. If any man should speak, speak as the oracles of Yahweh Shem You know? Hey, the heart is deceitful above all. Who can know it? You know, that's why we have to ward off these damn demons and shit. <laughs> all in your fucking ear. <laughs> do, it, do it like this over here. <laughs> you know, telling you, oh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, Look at your brother over there. What? No, man. Get, hey, get behind me, Satan. With all that shit in my fucking ear, bro. Go to the book of John. Chapter 3, verse 14. And once again, who is my brother, my mother, my sister? Those that do the will of Yahweh by Shema Shah, bro. Don't get it twisted around here, man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Do you believe the words that's written down? For lo, I come in the bottom of all you look. This demon already done declared that, hey, you know, they don't believe in the word of truth. That, oh, nope, no, nope, that, that's not the word of God over there. Oh, that's, uh, man, get the, boy, hey, your ass is gone, man. Sicario, a rebellious son, bro. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. This is the simplicity of Yahweh Shema my man. John 7, 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, bro. Living water, you know? Living water. Go to the book of Romans, chapter 6. Romans chapter 6. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? You know, these dudes actually gonna say, they, once again, lying out of their damn mouth, saying that uh, Great Millstone uh, say that we don't have to keep the law. Fuck. You know, but once again, hey, you, you go and continue on in your folly. But well, who shall lay a charge against Yahweh Shema Shah's elect? Right? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yahweh Shema Shah forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any any longer therein? Right, man. Because look, we, we believe in this word. We have faith in Yahweh Shema Shah. We fear Yahweh Shema Shah. So that's why we keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities. Not being over righteous. But hey, man, we, we do try. Today's a Sabbath day. Nah, nobody's cooking, nobody's going shopping and shit like that. We, it's we're keeping it holy, man, to the best of our abilities. Yeah, we got to work. We got to do certain things. Yeah, we got to do stuff. Because we get this in our captivity. But you best believe right here up in the air. Our mind is always set on you. How about Shema Shah? Doing, doing, you know, obeying, his, uh, obeying the Lord, man. Simple as A. Like that. What do what the strippers say? You, I'll be in you and you'll be in me. So then what's that supposed to mean? The hour coming now is when the true worshiper shall worship Yahweh by Shemash in spirit and truth. So how are you supposed to do that? Because the word is in you. Always on the mind. Always looking for Yahweh by Shemash. We're not in this world no more, bro. Damn. Salaki. <laughs> for God forbid. Verse 2. Romans chapter 6 verse 2. How shall we then that are dead to sin live any longer? Now know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahweh Shah were baptized until his death. 
Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Yahweh was raised up from the dead by the glory of Yahweh, even so we also shall walk in newness of life. Right, because we're dead to this world, bro. Like I just said, man. Oh, yeah. We are constantly, our mind is constantly on Yahweh Shem Hashem. We're not, we're not in filthy lucre and, and trying to get it on this, you know, selling t-shirts and all that kind of shit like that. No. Well, yeah, we go to work, bro. To what? To provide for the household. You know? To do what we're supposed to do in this world, but we're not of this world, bro. We don't, we're not invested in this world in any fucking way. Fuck this shit. We're waiting, hoping that this shit collapse. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, and the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin, right? Because we're in this sinful flesh. It's going to go off, bro. It's going to go off. Trust me on that. Because what? Well, it's subject to sin. The creature is subject to vanity. But that's, see, and that's low. I come in the volume of the book. That's the understanding of the, you know, what's written down in the word. That's believing in the word. Knowing, understanding the word, bro. You can't fulfill the law. For he that is dead and is free from sin. Now, because that's the strip. You have about Shema the Savior. Knowing that Yahweh shall being raised from the dead dieth no more. Death had no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto Yahweh. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed, indeed unto sin. But alive unto Yahweh by Shemashah through Yahweh Shah, our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Right? That's why we repent. You know? We repenting, man. We be uh, fighting. You know? Fighting this flesh. You know? They war. You know? The spirit wars against the flesh. That's the story. Let's reset it. <sighs> Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. Right? You just, just not being a demon. Yeah, I'm going out. You know, we're going to do like the heathens do. You know, I'm going out this weekend, yeah. We're going to do like the old man do. No, we're, we're new, bro. We're changed. We're different, bro. We don't even think like that no more, man. We can't stand to be around certain people sometimes, bro. We can't stand to see certain things sometimes, bro. You know, just like a uh, lot. Vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, bro. Just like when we hear these, these ninjas... With their false doctrines and philosophies and shit coming out of their mouth. It pisses us off. But they're okay with it, right? They're okay with the unity camps and stuff, right? <sighs> for sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. What? Wait, let's jump up. I think we skipped something. Go back to 13. So Romans chapter 6 verse 13. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto Yahweh Shem Hashem as those that are alive from the dead, and your members are instruments of righteousness unto Yahweh. Right, because um, he that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Then you're going to be going off, you're going to be doing things thinking that you're, you know, that you're right, but you're dead wrong. Because you're not even in the truth. You think you're in the truth, but your ass not in the truth. You know, you're, make, you're, you're fulfilling prophecy. You're making merchandise of the children of Israel. Scattering the flock. Instead of being gathered by the word, bro. But you can't see that. But the wise shall understand. Come on. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. Nope. You gotta be, what What is that? You gotta wear your fringes, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. Yeah. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Right, but no, this this lying ass nigga talking about something. No, GMS says, uh, you you know, to that you're not, you know, that you don't have to fulfill to go do the law. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey? His servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness, bro. But Yahweh Shemashah be thanked, man. 
that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you. Once again, going back to 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 17, bro. Made them, being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Because we believe in this truth, you know. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to iniquity to iniquity, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness and to holiness, bro. Holy, separate, set apart, sanctified. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. Right, we were out there. Huh? Not even knowing, not even caring, you know. Once again, he that wanders out of the way of understanding will remain in the congregation of the dead. But fruit, what fruit had ye then in those things? Where, wherefore ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now, being f made free from sin and become servants of Yahweh, Ba'ashim and Yahushai, ye have your fruits unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Okay? You see that, man? We're hoping for that everlasting life, that salvation. Okay? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh Hashem is eternal life through Yahweh Shah our Lord, bro. You know? Come on, man. We're going to start wrapping it up now. Got like two more scriptures to bring out. Book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, by the mercies of Yahweh Hashem that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Once again, turning away from this wicked world wholeheartedly, man. You know, being in the world, but not a part of it, bro. I mean, Tommy, fully, you're, you're fully committed to Yahweh Shem You know, by the renewing of your mind. Come on, let's get this. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of Yahweh Shem that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto Yahweh Shem which is your reasonable service. You're supposed to be doing this, bro. You're the children of Yahweh Shem You're the children of Yahweh Shem You just fell away from your heritage, man. You discontinued from your heritage, which was fulfilled in prophecy. But now bear return, seeking ten times more. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right, right. See, you know, if you're going to do, if you're going to talk about the garments and stuff, where are the freaking garments, bro? Down to the foot, then. You know what I'm talking about? Be... Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's right here, man. That ye may pr prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Shem man. Get your mind together, man. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and save every man his soul. Don't be trying to mix truth with, um, you know, with this world. Just like they got their damn rap music and shit. Go, man, it's going off. And it's evident. Plain to the holy, but there's stumbling blocks to the wicked. This word is for the 144, hopefully like and one third of Israel. Say, hey man, simply, you know, come, come ye out from, you know, be, come out from among them and be ye separate. Let's go get that. This is the book of Second uh, Corinthians, chapter six, verse fourteen. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? Right? And what concord hath Yahweh Shai with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? How many times have you been rebuked, bro? How, how many times have you been rebuked, my man? How many times have these other camps been rebuked, bro? So tch, clearly they can't get it. Clearly they don't believe it. Okay? Come under one accord. I wish you all speak the same thing. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Baptizing what? By the word of truth. Clearly, use an infidel. And what agreement have the temple of Yahweh Shemashah with the idols? Or, you know, this dude talking about Yahweh is an idol. Right? Remember that? For ye are the temple of the living God, Yahweh Shemashah. As Yahweh Shemashah has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them. And be ye separate, say Yahweh Shemashah, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, said the Almighty. All praises to Yahweh Shemashah, bro. Okay? Psalms chapter 91, verse 1, real quick. 
He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, Yahweh Shemasha, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. Okay? Does it say anything about you gotta wear your fringes and stuff? No, because you, you made Yahweh Shemasha your secret place, your dwelling, bro, because you believe this word wholeheartedly. And you've done everything to stand in this truth. You're well rooted and grounded in the faith. You believe in this word. You believe. You know, you've been healed by this truth, man. There's no lie in the truth in you. You know, if it were possible, they'd deceive the very elect, bro, but it's not possible. We know what the Lord say. You know, that this is a gift of faith that is predestinated. You're going to be delivered because you, believe, you have faith in Yahweh Shemasha, bro. You don't turn and because you believe in him, you're gonna be doing certain things, man. You know? You're gonna be holy and separate, right? But no, these dudes are in unity camps and shit. You know? Man, get up, man, boy. It's like uh just like just like um this truth is stacked up against Esau. This truth is stacked up against the two-thirds of Israel as well, bro. Cause y'all motherfuckers going off. You don't believe this word of truth. You're not walking on that path, bro. You know, on that straight gate. And it's evident to the ones that, you know, that believe in this truth wholeheartedly, bro. It's evident, man. You think we don't see it, so, you know? But we understand that this is the will of Yahweh Shemasha. It's a very dramatic story, isn't it? That's why you gotta, um, you know, um, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that time. You know, don't let these things... You know, because we we are on one accord with Yahweh Shemashah. We understand that these are written for our learning. We understand that these things must come to pass. And this is just it. That's it. You know? Yahweh Shemashah did not come to bring peace on earth, but a sword, bro. Okay? This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. But you still got, you know, Israel like talking about we all come together, blah, blah. Because they don't, they don't have it, man. The words, you know, once again, plain to the holy, but stumbling blocks to the wicked. Book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundations of Yahweh Shemasha stand sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Shemasha depart from iniquity, bro. But in a great house there is not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself of these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, prepared unto every good work. Right? Right, man. We're going to leave it right there because the doors of mercy are open. You know, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, 100% truth, you know. So with that, hopefully this is edifying, brothers and sisters. Once again, Sakari, a rebellious son. All them, all these other camps and stuff going on, man. Because the scripture speaks about the 144 having no God in their mouth. That they all coming on the one accord, singing that same song, bro. What else do you want? I mean, you know, what else? There's nothing. I mean, what else, bro? You can't add anything to the word. You're not supposed to be taking things away from the word. So what else can that be? Yahweh Hashem HaShah said they're gathered by the word of truth. You know, so with that, hopefully this is edifying. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. We give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb word of God. Shalom Israel. Shalom.